<laughs> Praise the Lord! Brother Hype Man here, a.k.a. Brother B. Jr., formerly known as the Wretched Knucklehead, my brothers and sisters. We turn our Bibles to 1 John chapter 3. We've been looking at verse 21, and it reads, Beloved, if our heart condemns us not, then we have confidence towards God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, <laughs> all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in 1 John chapter 3, the Apostle John, a gospel grace preacher, uh, in his letter, 1 John chapter 3, he mentions, if our heart doesn't condemn us, that we can have confidence with our Abba Father. Praise the Lord. And so when we listen to uh, Christ-centered gospel of grace, preaching, teaching, ministering, that will make us more confident towards God, our heart is going to be confident to God because there ain't no condemnation. There ain't no guilt. There ain't no shame when you're preaching the gospel of grace. Praise the Lord. And so when you listen to a message that is, is condemning, makes you it makes your heart, you know, condemned, and you ain't going to have no confidence towards God. But if you listen to a message that's full of grace, it, 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 it's not going to condemn your heart. And then you can have confidence towards God. We see um, in, in John chapter 3 recorded where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ um, encounters a, 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 a soon-to-be ex-religious leader. And he starts teaching him um, the gospel where he said in, in John chapter 3 to this uh, uh, a soon-to-be uh, ex-cult uh, uh, leader, he said to him, for God did not send his son to condemn the world, but he sent his son that the world might be saved. And he said this, he that believeth on the son is not condemned. And when you believe on the son and not condemned, now you can have confidence towards God. But if you don't believe on the son, you're, 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 you're condemned already because you don't believe in the name of the only begotten son of God. You don't believe in the name of our Lord and Savior, soon to come in King Jesus Christ. And then he said this. He said, and this is the condemnation of the world. That light has come to the world. And light came in the form of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, preaching the gospel of grace. And light has come to the world, but the fallen man loves darkness. And that darkness is condemnation or a false gospel that don't preach no grace. They should even love that. And, I mean, because and their, their deeds are evil. And the deeds are evil is listening to a false gospel that don't preach no grace. And this is a condemnation. That light has come to the world. And, 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 and fallen man seems to love the the, the, the the false gospel that don't preach no grace, that preach condemnation. And when you have that condemnation, then you ain't going to have no confidence towards God. And that's condemnation. We see also in, in, in John chapter 8, where, where it was recorded, where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was uh, was having a Bible study with, 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 with a group of people and, and preaching and teaching the gospel of grace. And along came a bunch of religious leaders who couldn't stand on Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And, and they dragged this woman and, 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 and they threw the woman right in the middle of and interrupted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, the gospel grace preaching, teaching. And, 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 and they said, hey, 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 this, hey, this woman, 
she's a sinner. She was caught in adultery. The, the law says that she should be stoned to death. And, 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 well, what do you say? And they were trying to trap him because if, if, if our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ would have said, well, well, well stone her to death, they said, ah, well, well, what about forgiveness? Hey, man, you know, you think you know, okay. But if, 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 if they said, well, we got to forgive her, and then they would say, oh, but, but the law says you, you got to be stoned to death. What, 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 what are you doing? You're not for obeying the law. You're not, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and so uh, uh, they were trying to trap him. So when and and then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ then he he, he he sat down he went to the ground and, and he started writing on the ground and then the, the the religious leaders were like come on what's the answer what's the answer what's the answer you're gonna get stoned or you're gonna forget what are you gonna what are you gonna do so then Jesus then you know got up and went went up to them and said you know he that is without sin let him cast the first stone. So what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is basically saying, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm the one who, who got no sin because he, he, in, in him is no sin. He did no sin. He knew no sin. And he's without sin. And, and, and he said, let, let, let me cast the stone. But he didn't cast no stone. He, he, he went back and he started writing on the ground again. And then the, the religious leaders, you know, they, they, they were dumbfounded and, and they, they all left from the, from the oldest to the youngest. And then so then now now this you know poor embarrassed lady you know you know because because those religious they put her business out there and and was condemning her was condemning her and condemning her and, and and she there by herself and things like that so our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ got up from um, riding on the ground and he went up to the the, the the poor young lady who was embarrassed by these religious leaders and 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 and, 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 and he said um. Uh, a woman, and you know, giving her, you know, a, t a tender, um, in terms of endearment. He says, "Woman, uh, where are your accusers? Is any man here to condemn you?" Well, they already left, so she said, L "Lord, no man is, is, is condemning." And, and, and then, and then Jesus said, "This." Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Jesus said this to her. Neither do I condemn you. So he, didn't, he didn't condemn her heart. He said, he said, neither do I condemn you. Now go and sin no more. And when Jesus was saying, now go and sin no more, he was basically saying that, that, that neither do I condemn you. Because he's not condemning her heart. He said, now go and sin no more. And sin is basically not believing in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So he said, he said, Neither do I condemn you. Now go and, and, and don't not believe me no more. And when you don't believe, when, when you stop unbelieving the Lord, that's confidence towards God. So no way that Jesus could have said that was, uh, uh, neither do I condemn you. Go in confidence of your Abba Father to his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's how you have confidence with the Lord when you know that there is no condemnation. Therefore, there's no condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. And you can have confidence. Pray the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift off his counsel you. May the Lord give you peace. And I command you all the God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who sanctify. In the precious name of the Son, the Lord, and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from all and present you for us in the presence of his glory, both glory, mercy, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord, amen. When you know that Jesus Christ isn't condemning you, when you know that God is not condemning you, when you know that God loves you, agape loves you, now you can have confidence towards our Abba Father through his Son, our Lord and Savior, and sooner coming King Jesus Christ, and the finished work that he did on the cross. And that is the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless you. <laughs> Agape love. <laughs>